Mm-hmm. What's your relationship with Ice Poseidon now? I haven't kept up on that at all. You guys don't work together. He's trying to go a little more PG thirteen related. What's yeah? He 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 basically he wanted to get away from from all the witches. Can you say that again? Uh, he For... moved away from LA to get away from that scene, all the leeches. Leeches. Uh, okay. Mo- okay. Moved to Austin with his girlfriend. Is trying to run a, like a family friendly thing. I- uh, I I can't. I really don't like watching streams on a platform I'm not familiar with. So if you're on Twitch or YouTube, I can watch your stream. But like Mixer is all weird. And that, is he on Mixer now? Just Mixer, yeah. Okay. All and right. so okay. I I my here's the thing. My relationship with Ice was he brought me out the floor, and I appreciate him for that. And there's some times when we've been hanging out. But the problem is, is that everyone in his life wanted something, wanted to benefit from friendship from him. I want to be friends with him because I just think I'm a cool dude and I want to be friends with everybody. But he wouldn't really let in to that into his bubble because he was so used to everyone trying to benefit from being around him. So he never really opened up, um, was always cool with me. I've, I've seen him a couple times since then. Um, like when we visited Austin, he Vegas. We've always been cool with each other, but we've never been like buds. Mm. You know, you can probably understand where that comes from. The bubble with him, like, like, absolutely. It, it for a long time, not so much now, but like there was a period for me where it seemed like everyone knew I met was trying to cozy up to me in an effort to benefit themselves in some way. Like they didn't like me exactly. because they enjoyed my company. They liked me because I had a lot of views per month, and you know that's. Yeah. why they're talking to me and um and oftentimes it was crazy true fuck my um when i bought this house four years ago the other person's real estate agent tried to get me to manipulate votes on like some singing tv show to help him <laughs> and it's like fuck i i just met you i just met you and you want me to go on youtube and promote you on the american idol or something you should have told him five thousand dollars that's my normal fee Actually, that's not bad. <laughs> Ten thousand for you, I'll do five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I've been asked to do all kinds of crazy things. I mentioned him briefly. We quote the price. He was. Does anyone here ever heard of Menudo, the boy band, the Mexican boy band, Menudo? No. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't been in the Mexican boy band scene for a little while. Yeah, yeah. They're mm-hmm. old. Yeah, I, I. It is my kryptonite, though. <laughs> <laughs> Gets me every time. Anyway, they were an interesting boy band because they were huge, and they were huge for like twenty years. Because once you get like 16 years old, they kick you out of the band and bring in a younger guy. Oh, yeah. And Menudo yeah, just kept rolling along. And was, uh, he, he was Ricky Martin in He was in Menudo, yeah. This guy's career not as good as Ricky Martin's. Now he's in real estate. <laughs> and uh, he was trying to get on American Idol or something. And he wanted me to help him. And, and like... Uh, also a kind of Mexican soup. <laughs> anyway, uh, people use you. People hear you have some sort of audience... And all of a sudden, they want you to be their advertising platform to give your, you know, tell your audience about them. So I can see where Ice gets defensive about that because that happens. Well, this seems like a good.